So what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is JB23 vlog I hope everyone is doing well guys so for today's video guys I would like to share on how to overhaul the exhaust valve of main engine this is the part one of uh, my vlog guys so the situation of this exhaust valve guys is this is a ready spare valve but we receive instruction to check all the o-ring parts the inter internal parts of the oil cylinder piston and the uh, teflon ring the guide rings that if it is necessary to replace then we have to replace guys so as you can see in the video guys we already detached the upper part of the exhaust valve the the oil cylinder cover and the remaining there is the piston on the oil cylinder so as you can see guys we have to detach the lock ring so just detach the locking bolt and there is a locking locking ring also guys that you have to detach by screwdriver as you can see in the video there are four bolts that you have to remove before we can remove the locking ring so as for always guys before carrying out of every overhauling every maintenance that we have to read the manual first the instruction book in in the manual so we have to read and understand guys on how to do the overhauling the this kind of maintenance so the instruction is there everything is there on how to carry out the overhauling even though this is the same engine that we have man engine or any kind of main engine saucer even though it's you have the most experience then the procedure is that we have to follow the instruction book on that uh, particular main engine manual so as you can see guys that's already detached the four locking bolt of the lock ring on the spindle so once it is removed then we have to remove the lock ring manually and to separate all the bolts and the lock ring guys in the space which it is more easy or you can access it easily so just like that guys and that oil cylinder is that and the and the piston is in the upper part so we have to detach the nozzle the nozzle from the air air cylinder then when you detach the piston guys then you have to release the air so we can bring down the piston so just use the soft part material guys to hammer the piston all the way down as you can see guys just push the rod on the on the valve on the non-return valve as you can see guys i'm just using the wood hammer to press down the piston as you can see guys just slowly hammer the piston guys while releasing the air from the 
air cylinder as you can see guys the piston has come down then that time we can remove the locking ring let's push more down then here to as you can see guys this is the locking ring is shown in the video yes this is the lock ring in the uh, spacer flange of the piston so after that guys then the we have to pull up the piston to pull up the piston guys just uh, as you can see guys just uh, supply air from the non return valve the, I mean the from the valve guys in the control air the spring spring air from the port of the spring air so just like that guys for more to to be easy to detach the piston just clean little bit uh, because there is some oil from that side inside part as you can see guys uh, we already detached the oil cylinder so just bring to the clean area and right now I am removing the locking bolt of the valve seat to the body of the exhaust valve just to remove the there, there are two allen bolts which is locking the valve seat against the body of the exhaust valve and right now we are taking some sling sling strap to lift the exhaust valve body then have to remain the exhaust valve spindle and the valve seat so at this point guys we use the chain lock to lift the exhaust valve body and we have to remain the exhaust valve spindle and the valve seat just move move up slowly guys and then just be careful to not to coat your hands from the valve body and the spindle in the valve seat yes slowly move off the valve body guys so what is the frequency the frequency of this overhauling guys is can be located in the instruction book that is in every 8000 hours of the main engine of the exhaust valve well it depends on the on your pms just follow or with the preventive maintenance system and how much is the interval of the overhauling of your exhaust valve so at this at our main engine guys we have to follow the guidelines as 8000 to 10,000 hours of the running hours of main engine then we have to overhaul the exhaust valve so once it's already disassembled guys then we have to follow all the instructions to make sure all the clearances on the valve seats the valve spindles and make a record keeping or to keep some record in all overhauling and the limits and the clearances as you can see guys we already land the exhaust valve body and then the important part here is that the seat and the seat of the 
spindle and the valve seat it has to be checked if there is some clearance so normally guys the one of the important thing to remember of the of this overhauling is that we have to check the clearance that can be measured by filler gauge that we can insert or uh, one millimeter filler gauge can be insert into the valve seat and the spindle so what is the purpose purpose of it guys is that it will allow the seat to expand during operation due to increase of temperature when the metal gets hot it will expand so that's why it has to be remained with one millimeter clearance of the spindle and the valve seat there is a limit or there is a one millimeter clearance so it is already disassembled guys and then we have to check all the o-ring parts the uh, the teflon ring and the backup ring of the piston we have to replace once it is worn out or just to be sure guys we will install all new parts in this exhaust valve then we have to measure properly all the clearances and the limits we have to ensure that everything has to be within limit otherwise we will replace those worn out parts with the genuine parts and before assembling we have to check all the seats of the spindle and the valve that if there is a considerable dents then no need to lapping or to grind so just a uh, few reminders guys before grinding or lapping the valve seats it has you have to ensure that uh, the vehicle is not in motion or otherwise we will not get we cannot get the efficient or the 100 percent alignment so the ship must be not in motion or should be in anchorage when lapping so in this case guys our exhaust valve seats the conditions are good and no need to make some grinding or lapping so in this case we have to change all the o-ring parts and the teflon ring and to check all the the internal parts so until here guys i hope you learn something about this video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic please don't forget to hit me the like share and subscribe see you in the part two of this video guys thank you for watching bye bye